So my tripod attachment to my camera has gone missing, so I'm going to have to record this video like this. So we'll see how tired my arm gets. Um, so it's actually a quick fire question video on cells. So like with all my other videos, wait for my question, pause the video, have a go at answering yourself, and then I'll give you my idea of the perfect answer. So let's start by looking at animal cells. And we're going to go through the functions of the various organelles which we find in an animal cell. So first of all, what is the role of the cell membrane? Remember that the cell membrane controls the entry and exit of substances into the cell. What is the role of the nucleus? Now the nucleus controls the cell's activities and contains the genetic material. Do not say that it is the brain of the cell, they won't give you a mark for that. What is the role of the cytoplasm? And that's where chemical reactions take place. What is the role of the mitochondria? And the mitochondria are where aerobic respiration takes place. So why not ask this question, therefore, what is the equation for respiration? And that is glucose plus oxygen produces carbon dioxide, water and energy. Now some examples won't need this, but what is the role of the ribosomes? And ribosomes are where proteins are made, this is a really bad angle, or you could say protein synthesis. And then this always happens, I always forget something. It can't be that important. So let's go on to the plant cell now. Now remember the plant cell has all the organelles that I've just mentioned in the animal cell, but it has three additional parts to it. So first of all, what's the role of the cell wall? Now the cell wall supports and protects the cell. What's the role of the vacuole? Now the vacuole is full of cell sap, which also helps support the cell. And lastly, what's the role of the chloroplast? And the chloroplasts are where photosynthesis takes place, so a sensible question here is what is the equation for photosynthesis? Now photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water produces glucose oxygen, um, and please note here that it's the opposite of respiration, so try and learn it one way and then just remember that it's the opposite for the other process so you're not learning two separate equations. And why don't we just talk about some other cells while we're at it. So let's look at the bacterial cell. So list some organelles or structures found in a bacterial cell. And in a bacterial cell, you'll find not a nucleus, but you'll find genetic material. You'll find things called plasmids. You'll find a cell membrane, cytoplasm, cell wall. They've got these little tails, which we call the flagella, which help move the bacteria. And some bacteria will have a slime coat, which helps protect the... Um, bacteria or you could say slime capsule so yeah it's got lots of similar organelles that you find in an animal and plant cell but just some extra ones and just please note no distinct nucleus now we'll look at fungi can you list some cell structures so a fungi has a cell wall has a cell membrane has cytoplasm has a nucleus it's always building work going on around my house it's really annoying and that's why my videos are always full of this noise. By the way, do you like my new camera? Is there less kind of like fuzzy noise behind it when I'm talking? Because I got conscious that my old camera was being fairly annoying in that way. Let's look at some specialised cells while we're at it. So, how is a root hair cell adapted for its function? Now, a root hair cell has a long root hair, and that increases the surface area for water absorption by osmosis. And it also has a vacuole, which also increases the speed at which water is absorbed. How is a sperm cell adapted for its function? There's lots of things you can say here. You can say that it has a whiplash tail to help it swim. It has a middle section, which is full of mitochondria, to provide it with the energy it needs to move. It has genetic information, which is found in its head. And it has an acrosome which contains digestive enzymes which help to break down the egg when the sperm eventually hits it. Remember, a ciliated cell is found in the trachea, so the windpipe, and what it does is it wafts and helps remove mucus and bacteria from the lungs. How is a fat cell adapted for its function? And again, only some examples will need this. Now, a fat cell can expand up to 1,000 times its original size. It needs very few mitochondria because obviously it's not really going anywhere and it has little cytoplasm to allow it to have more space to store fat. And let's talk about the adaptations of a red blood cell this time. So what are the adaptations of a red blood cell? 
Now remember that a red blood cell has a biconcave disc shape which provides it with a large surface area to transport oxygen. It has no nucleus, again to allow space for oxygen. It has a pigment called haemoglobin which is a protein pigment and what that does is it actually binds with the oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin. And I can't think of anything else so I think that's enough. Right, I'm going to stop there. Sorry about the angle of this. Um, I'm really hoping I find the attachment because it's pretty annoying and my arm is now dead. So good luck with all your revision guys and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!